Hey, we're back. This is Suzanne, Glass Garden Beads, Brig Evans Textile Design. We are working on squiggles. Now, the last, uh, the video on one showed you how to randomly just kind of go in and out, catch beads, and you can see this is very random. But it works. I've got two connections here. It's about making this secure. We started, as a review, we started with eight 15 seed beads. We made a circle. We tied a knot three times and there was a tail and the same thing here. I now took my eights. I took six of them. I've tied my knot three times. I clipped it, did a burn end, and I'm going to now go through the beads again. We want at least it's, especially on the eights, we want to go through it on all of these connectors. We want to go through twice. Okay, so I'm coming out here. And why do I have a size 8 bead? Because this is where we're going to add our loopies. Okay, each bead will get a couple of loopies. So let's just see how those loopies are made. First of all, let's see how many beads Linda used on her loopies. So I can see kind of close down here, you'll see a dark, that's her eights. And she's got, on one bead, she's got, let me look here. I could have done this prior, didn't even think about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So let's do that, let's get twelve beads. And you can decide if you want solid loopies. You've got a picture again, remember. Um, just refer to whatever beads you want. Let's do 12. We've got 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Let's see if that's what we like. All right. So we're coming out to do our loopies. We're coming out of one side of our bead. Okay. And I'm going to come back and kind of connect it like a circle. There we go. See that? The thread's coming out this side, so our needle's going to go in here. We've got our 12 beads on. Oh, there's our loopy. All right. So let's go to the next one. So we're going to pass through. I kind of pulled that out. We're going to pass through the next bead right here. We're going to pull because then our other loopy will get tighter. And I'm going to do another color, but we're going to do 12. 3, 6, 7. Just I'm kind of doing a quick scoop here. Let's see here. That's 5. That's ten, two more. Okay. And again, let's go up here. We've got in it's on a black bead, so the thread's coming out one side. You go back to the other side of the bead. Whoops. Like that. And as you pull the thread, your loopies will see how they're tightening up. And you're gonna do that. You're going to go around and around and around. Now, Linda loves loopies. So you can decide how many do you want to go. Like we could go one side around. It looks like she did twice. She did one side of the bead and then she kind of pushed them away. And then she started doing loopies on the other side and go around. Okay, but that's how you do it. Didn't think it was that easy, did you? Okay, now, even though I'm doing all my loopies, I'm going to show you, even if it's on this one, how to do a point with a pico. So, right here. See this guy? And we did it the same, same way. You put six beads on, they're number eight. So every time you see these uh, loopies, they've got the eights underneath it that you have to put on. Okay? So let's do, a, even though we did this one as uh, no pico, 
Let's do one with a pico and I'll show you. So on this one, we're going to continue around and maybe you'll like to mix pico and um, loopies together. You pass through to go to your next bead, okay, which is what we're going to do before we even add beads. Okay, so we've got our, our holder bead right there. So let's do a green. So we got, let's do, if there's 12, we're going to do six beads. Well, you know what? Let me see. A pico, you would do the whole loopy. So here's what we're going to do. We are doing the whole loopy because we come back and do the pico, right? So I've got five, six. I had to get my bearings here. What am I doing? And I've got 10, I've got 11, I've got one more. All right, so we're going to do finish up with our 12. Okay. And we're going to go back through. Remember, we're going to come back. If the thread's coming out this side, we're going to put our needle this way. Okay, because you're going to make that circle of connection. Bring it through. All right. Now, we want a pico. We keep going on our circle. All right. So now, you're going to come right back up the very first bead you did. We're going to, if there's 12, we should come back six. Let's see. We want to go in the bead hole, not on the outside. So watch for that. We have five, one more. Is that six? Yep, okay. So we're going to pull it out. See that? We're right on, we're right in the middle. So um, Linda did a black, so let's do a black. Here's our black bead. And we go right down the other side. And let's see if I'm successful or if I made a mistake. We have to pull. And we go back in, just like you did your circle. Whoops, there you go. So I've got my black bead in. I came down the beads on the other side. And it loosened up because I was pulling. So now I'm going to just go slowly and pull everything tight. And there's our bead. But that's not a pico. That just added a bead. So we got to work on that. Ah, I see. So let's do the next one. This one, all we did is just, let's see what we have here. She went through the same bead. Okay, here's where it, here's where it will help you. Okay, we count up our beads, and then she she goes up a bead, but then see how we turn she turns it. Can we see that? All right. And then the needle comes through there. We turn the bead. So the next time I go through my twelve, I'm going to show you. So let's do that again because all I did was just fill in the bead, and yes, there's a dot, but it's not a true pico. So now we now I showed you how to put a dot on the end, but now let's we're really working on doing a pico. So let's pass to our next connecting bead. Okay. We're working on this together, I guess. Okay, there we go. And on this one, let's do an orange. And we're gonna get 12 beads on. Four, eight. 10, 12, take two off. And let's look at this. Oops, I got it on the wrong side. Keep your thread straight. Okay, we're coming out of this connector bead right next to the green, right, right there. And we're going to put our thread through it just like we did before. Okay. All right. And all you're going to see is a loop right now. All right. But I'm going to come back up here now. Let's see if I can do this right again. Come back up the next six, which will be the first six you put on. Came back three. 
Let's pull. We're going to come back three more. Okay. Pull tight. And do you see how this bead kind of went out and in here? Okay. Now we're going to add a black bead, but we're not going to go down this other arm. I'm taking my black bead. I'm going back down. Now the thread is coming out this bead, right? Do you see that? Okay. So watch my needle. I'm going to go back through the same bead. Once I get my needle in there, I just want to. Okay, sorry for covering it up and trying to get that bead. To, okay, so I'm going through the same bead. The thread is coming out that bead. I added a black bead, and the thread is coming back into that bead. All right, I'm going to pull this, and I have a pico. Woot, woot, woot. I have a pico. I did it right. But that's by taking the six bead, taking your thread right out of it, stopping at that point, adding a bead, and going right back into the same bead. Okay? And we did that. So now I can follow my thread path down that arm. And it would be down the arm you came up with. So we kind of just are doing one side of the arm to get that pico. And I'm just squiggling my needle right now right through it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now I can come back. I had to take a closer look. So we did it. We did a pico, a true pico, not just a dot at the end. So we took that six bead. We counted back six beads. We did our 12 first, came through, then back up our first six, exited that bead. And when we exited that bead, we added a black bead. And we went right back down that same bead that we had our thread coming through it. And that's what makes that stick out. Okay? So I think we've done everything. Um, on some of these here where you've got your, a lot of, um, we get the loopies. This one, all you do is probably strand, probably um, maybe a foot, 12 inches of beads, but you still do the eight beads in the center to connect. Then you tie your knot, then you, three times, and then you bring your, um, you bring your needle and thread through that center bead, the stabilizer circle, okay, of beads. Then you do your length, however long, and you wrap it, okay? But to stop it, do you see here? She puts the needle back into, like if you do your last circle, you want to get all the tension out, you don't want any thread showing, and then you put your needle back into a strand of beads that you had just wrapped, and that will keep it together. It will be roly-poly, but it will keep it together, and go through that end again. Just make it like another round um, end piece. So you've got your beginning piece that's going to connect it. Then you want to connect it. See, she put just, just catch something and then maybe go through a few beads and tie um, a knot off. Again, knot off three times and then take your thread, needle and thread, even though that you've knotted off. Don't cut it yet. Go through a few beads and do a half hitch and clip. Okay? So I think you've got that. See, now this one, she started with the, again, the eight seed beads. She did enough to wrap and she crossed over, had enough beads to cross over. Then she did another eight beads down here because you want it when you cross over, you still want to connect it. All right? Then you do a length of beads, wrap, 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 and then Maybe catch uh, the last bead, bring it up, 
use your common bead here like a netting stitch, catch it, and come back down. So those are the things that Linda used on here. Same thing. And maybe you'll find a few more fun ones. You've got a picture. We, we figured out the Pico, didn't we, girls and guys? All right. That's it for our squiggles. And the whip stitch is already on there in another video. So thanks for hanging with me. This is on our website. You'll get all the parts. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory after that. Okay. Have a good one.